Welcome, Gemini's, to another video. Happy to be here with you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. We would love to have you here, guys. Let's talk about December the 1st through the 7th, okay? So, this is going to be a general read. Take what applies, leave what does not apply, okay? This could be vice versa. This could be something that's going on around you. Um, or this could be, a you know, a story that you could have for a family or a friend, okay? So don't hesitate to share as well as like and comment, okay? This month, guys, I'm doing a reading special for newbies, okay? So if you haven't gotten a reading from me, you can book a reading for $25, guys. I normally charge... 60 plus dollars for my readings but if you're a newbie i'm showing y'all a lot of love this month so you can book your reading for 25 okay um the contact information is going to be in the drop box below as well guys you can check out the website okay we have ritual oils that are handmade by me all right we have protection amulets we have quite a few of different ones for you know the protection amulets the evil eye amulets um as well as sage bundles we have all types of different things over there, guys. Um, Florida water, money spray, all types of things on the website, guys. So check out the website after you watch this video, guys, okay? So let's talk, Geminis. Let's see what we get for y'all. Let's see. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Give me a message for my Geminis, please. Thank you. What's going on for the 1st or the 7th for my Geminis? Thank you. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, okay, at the bottom, we got the Ten of Water. All right, so this is emotional fulfillment as well as the sun. Look at y'all. Okay, we got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo's energy, and the King of Water. Some of y'all could be dealing with the water sign or Leo, but this is very happy energy. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Ah. All right, so the first card we got here is the five of water. Okay, so there could be some type of regrets or you're possibly like, you know, crying over spilled milk or vice versa. Okay, but this is my regrets card, okay? But then we got the ten of earth. This is about family. This is also about your a marriage or finances. And then we got the magician. Ooh. Okay, so... You're manifesting here. Some of you may be trying to manifest some money, manifest a long-term relationship, stability. Okay, let's see what we got here. Because at the bottom of the deck, we got some very good high energy here. So let me see what we got, what we get. I need some clarifiers here. All right, so please tell me why the five of water is here for Gemini. Got the queen of swords, okay? So somebody, you may have to cut somebody off, okay? Queen of swords, this is you guys' energy. Okay, maybe you cut someone off from giving them money, okay? Or somebody cut you off financially, okay? Okay. Because we got the, the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's giving somebody money or doing favors. But somebody got cut off. Okay. We got the Emperor. Someone could have cut you off. Or there was a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. I'm just putting that out there. An older person. A father. A baby father. Something like that. Okay. Justice. Okay, and we got the Hierophant as well, too. Taurus is energy in Libra. There could have been someone who's legally married here. The Emperor could be someone's husband, okay? Yeah, somebody's talking crazy. Like, not really talking crazy, but, you know, just the King of Swords energy and the Eight of Wands. This is someone who's speaking their truth, okay? They may be coming off as kind of harsh, okay? And I'm, I'm getting tough love as well. 
Why is the Queen of Swords here? Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. See, somebody, you had to walk away from a situation. And you found out the truth. Okay? You found out the truth. Somebody spoke their truth. Somebody told how they feel. And maybe somebody decided to cut them off. Okay? Maybe you told somebody how you feel. And somebody got mad and, you know, didn't like what was said and removed themselves or vice versa. Okay? You're trying to stay strong. Look at this. Eight of Pentacles and a Strength card. Yeah, because you're done with the lies. You're done. And some of y'all are distancing yourself, okay? Like I said, somebody here could have cut somebody off financially with the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Why is Eight of Cups here? Ace of Pentacles, yeah, that's what I said. Ace of Pentacles is money, is an opportunity, but somebody walked away, Okay. From their past, something from their past. And it was a decision that it was, I feel like maybe you feel like it was a good decision for you to walk away from this, okay? Somebody was irrational, a player, um, you know, maybe juggling here and you were over it and done, okay? So you had to make a final decision and I feel like somebody here got mad because you finally made a decision to walk away, okay? Ten of Earth. Three of Wands. Some of you are waiting for a payout, waiting for some money. Okay? Yeah, you're manifesting. The magician and the world. You're manifesting here. Some of you close the chapter with some friends, some fake friends. Maybe you find out people weren't really who they were. Okay? But I feel like some of y'all are waiting for uh, some type of finances or money. Knight of Wands. Yeah, the chariot. You're waiting for some, some financial abundance to come. Okay, and you have in hope that something works out. Okay, for some of you, this is about a job. Yeah, because you're tired of all the, you're tired of this devil energy. You're tired of these bad habits. You're tired of someone throwing negative energy towards you. You're tired of it. The devil is Capricorn's energy. Yep. Yep. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The star, Aquarius is energy. And, okay, this is healing. You're praying. You're praying that something falls through. And I feel like it's something financial-wise. And as well, some of you are healing from a broken heart, okay? Some of you are healing. Yes, yeah, see, you're looking back at a situation with regrets here from the past. But see, you got so much you i feel like you're healing from something you're praying about it you've been praying about this okay but look the future is bright the two of wands and the sun the future is so bright okay you see the bigger picture you see things for what it really truly is okay and you're manifesting this happy new beginning okay with the ten of cups See, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Water is the same energy. You, you're manifesting this. And then we got the Magician here as well as here. You've closed the chapter. There's a chapter that, you know, has closed. It was, a, it was a chapter that needed to close. Yeah, for some of you, there's a divorce. Okay, some of you are separating. And, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, nine of wands. You're you you know better now. Yep, and you had to be careful how you move. Okay, you feel like you had to be careful how you move. Okay. Now we got the magician. You feel like um maybe you feel like the four of pentacles is holding on to something. Okay. I feel like you feel like something was holding you back with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is really slow paced energy. But then we got the Magician and the Six of Pentacles. So the Magician is here. The Magician showed up three times here. Woo! The Five of Wands and the Seven of Wands. This is a physical fight. This is a battle. 
Some of you had to literally fight your way out of something. Then we got that Ten of Pentacles again. That Ten of Pentacles. Some of you may have been having financial issues. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, I'm here and give me my money back. Some of you had to fight to get your money back. For some of you, I'm getting like a refund or something like that. Something, um, yeah, see, you've been going through something financially. The King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, okay? So maybe you took some type of loss financially, but it looks like you're getting something back, okay? Some of you may have to ask someone to borrow something, borrow some money, but there's definitely something here about money, and I'm hearing like you getting money back. Yep, and it's like finally get your money back. And you're not going to do that ever again. Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords. You're, you're not going to go back ever again down that road. For some of you, I'm getting that there is a separation. There's a separation. Some of you may be separated or this is about money. And somebody, you had to fight your way out of something. You're ready to start fresh. Okay, let me grab a few more cards. So you're regretting something financial, a financial decision. And you're trying to find a way to make, uh, make more money. Awakening. Ooh, yes. See, justice is finally going to be served, okay? Because we got justice here. It looks like justice is going to be served, and you're going through some type of awakening. You're looking at things from a different perspective from here on out. You're looking at something from a different perspective. You see something differently. Five of Earth, there we go again. That's that rejection and feeling left out in the cold. Some of you feel like you got played. King of fire, possibly a fire sign involved. Knight of fire, ten of air. See, yes, yeah, see, you're done with something. You cut something off, and I'm hearing I'm not going back, okay? You are going through some type of awakening. This is a big awakening moment for you. Yeah, something could be you feel like you got played, okay? You're tired of the back and forth, okay? You, you're not going through this again. Yep, two of swords. Didn't I just say that? You're not going through that again. You realize something. You realize your worth. And you realize that you want to be happy. And like I said, some of y'all are closing this chapter. You're cutting this person off for good. Like, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. You tried to give this person a chance. But that's it. You already gave them their chances. The sun, okay? Mm -mm. And then that four of wands and the five of wands and the ace of pentacles. Yep. See, first, like I said, some of you, this was a marriage or you were living with someone, a living arrangement, or this is about your stability, okay? This is about your home life and your stability. Five of earth. Yep. See, now you're trying to balance this out. You're trying to heal. Okay, you're healing from a messed up situation. And like I said, you were stressed out. Somebody, something or someone had you stressed out. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yep, you're trying to get everything back in order. And whatever you need to cut out, ooh, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Whatever you need to cut out, you're ready to cut it out. King of Fire. Yep. Didn't I tell you? The Eight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This could be someone calling about money or money is coming to you and it's coming fast. Okay? It's coming fast. Okay? Some of you were in a relationship with the Fire Sign. Okay? And I'm getting like a sexual relationship as well. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. I'm getting like there was maybe some like an abusive type of relationship here. 
And I'm just putting that out there. Somebody is very attention seeking. Yep, the moon. Somebody here could be jealous. There's competition. Um, I see that as well, too. Somebody has an ulterior motive. Somebody sneaky. But I feel like you don't want, you don't want, yeah, see, you don't want to have to go through this. You don't want to have to ask this person for something because you feel like they're going to want something that back in return. Um, yeah, see, you're hoping that a final decision is going to be made. So for some of you, this is like very much so having to do with finances. I feel like y'all are getting ready to manifest something fresh, new, and it looks like money is finding its way to you. Money is finding its way to you, okay? Some of y'all had to leave a situation behind. You had to go, you had to go heal. Some of y'all are getting some type of refund back or getting some type of uh, debt paid or something to that nature. Meditation brings answers, okay? Forgiveness. Somebody needs forgiveness. And see, we got success in the near future. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like it's your time. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. And then we got success near future. Within the next few months. Within the next few months. Communicate clearly. Communicate clearly. Give me three more cards. Why is meditation brings answers here? No. See, it looks like you're going to find out that something that you want to take action on or something that you didn't take action on, there's something that, that you need to meditate on, okay? And the answer that you may get is going to be a no. Okay, and I think it's it's saying that, okay, at that point in time, it's not time to take action. Forgiveness, it's up to you. It's up to you whether or not if you want to forgive this person. Somebody here may not be taking action. And you may feel someone may be asking for forgiveness because they didn't take action. And you may have to think about it on whether or not you want to forgive this person. In the near future. Something here about in the near future. Why is within the next few months here? A peaceful resolution. Okay, so a peaceful a peaceful resolution is on its way. But it's going to take some time. And I feel like it's about someone asking for forgiveness. Okay. All right, so I hope this reading was helpful for you guys. All right, if you need to book a personal reading with me, guys, or if you want to uh, order something from the website, all of that information is in the drop box below. All right, and don't forget to like, comment, and share with your family and your friends, okay? Like, 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 like. That's going to keep the channel in YouTube's algorithm, okay? So continue to like, share, and if you're new, subscribe because you're not going to want to miss out on future videos, okay? Love you guys. Chat with you later. Ciao.